The overall goal of this procedure is to produce carbon nanotube arrays with tunable wetting properties. This is accomplished by first growing vertically aligned carbon nanotube arrays using a common thermal chemical vapor deposition method. The second step is to turn the as-grown carbon nanotube arrays super hydrophobic by exposing them to a vacuum annealing treatment. Next, these carbon nanotube arrays can be turned hydrophilic by exposing them to UV ozone or oxygen plasma treatment. The final step is to repeat the UV ozone or oxygen plasma treatment if the arrays are not hydrophilic enough or to repeat the vacuum annealing treatment to make them hydrophobic again. Ultimately, water immersion is used to show qualitatively the change in wetting properties of the carbon nanotube arrays. Samples are further characterized by contact angle goniometry and X-ray spectroscopy. The main advantage of this technique over the existing methods, like wet chemical oxidation or fluorocarbon coating, is that this technique is highly reversible, safer, and can be easily scaled up to an industrial level. This technique is simple, doesn't involve oxidizing agents or acids, and doesn't destroy the structure of the carbon nanotube arrays. Demonstrating the procedure will be Brad Lyon, a grad student from our lab. As a first step, prepare a silicon wafer with at least one polished side to serve as a substrate. It should have an oxide layer on the polished side, here about 300 nanometers. Other details, such as crystal size, doping, and resistivity are unimportant.